Ladies and gents and the rest. I had to fight with myself to make this video because it's pretty much the exact same thing of what it had what it was last week. Um except um like th this meta is pretty shit. It all comes down to uh the healing totem and deep breath. Whoever hits harder wins. So uh you know what modifiers are Rocket Towers, Bounty Hunt and Ward. And by the way, Ward next week will be Adrenaline Rush. Adrenaline Rush, which is pretty much the same garbage. It will give you 20% extra gold regeneration if uh, you have 1% HP on the core. 1% or 10%, something like that. In other words, it's just you just ignore it completely when it, when it happens next week. But um, that's it's not about it. So uh, basically... This is going to be the deck. There's going to be two decks, like uh, Jaina, with a, a little variation. The reason why we, Jaina is the best performing deck is because you use, uh, you know how it works. At the end of the game, both players have full HP uh, on the core. The HP starts reducing. You drop the healing totem and you deep breath. Because Jaina has uh, plus three levels on a deep breath, Jaina will win um, automatically, right? And uh, execute, even though I know uh, we still have a bug where you can't cast spells on the core. So um, it's going to be this deck. And um, the other uh, variation is like when you put um, Polymorph instead of uh, Execute. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, you Polymorph everything and you kill everything, right? It's, uh, and Execute allows you to uh, take towers. It depends on your play style. It, it, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what deck you use. Uh, it's always the same thing um, the, at the end of the game, uh, healing totem uh, and deep breath. That's why Jaina is the best deck, but I, I want you to not play anything until this meta ends, but I have to make the video, that's why I'm making the video, okay? Um, you all know the rules, Jaina, um, deep breath and execute, you know how to use them. Uh, Harvest Golem with a stun and Shaman with a totem. You drop these two to so that your core kills everything. <clears throat> Bandits to cycle and to get gold from like gadgets and stuff like that. Because nobody will let you take the gold from other maps, right? On Alterac Valley, these guys will not, will not be useful. Um, I mean, to get gold. And uh, we use Griffon in case you play against Ren, so you could, uh, you know, kick Rand out of his Drake. Yeah, I mean, you've seen it a million times. Uh, that is how it works. I don't even want to do any commentaries on the game. So today I'm going to uh, show you the live pieces from my stream. Because just, what am I supposed to say? Just drop a Harvest Golem and a Shaman when the enemy comes to your core. And then you drop on the, on uh, where, where your tower is. You drop Jaina over there and you just deep breath everything. If, if a Harvest Golem and the core is not enough. The meta is dog shit, and um, I don't know when it's going to change. We'll have to wait and, until like, at least two more weeks. On the next week, the Siege Tower is going to be replaced by a, uh, a Piercing Tower. But I don't know if the meta is going to change, because Harvest Golem and Shaman are just... just it, it's, a, it's, a, it's cancer of this meta, of this game, I would say. So, let's stay positive, and um, yeah, that's all. Ah! Technically, the best performing deck is Charlga, uh, but I found out about this deck uh, like a few minutes ago, and I don't have any footage for Charlga. So the reason why Charlga is the best performing deck is because of her gold cost. Um, she she can drop in the last ten seconds. She is able to drop two shamans instead of one. Uh, that's why you're gonna get double heal, and even Jaina won't be able to beat you technically, right? The, it will out heal the damage. But uh, I, like I said, I, I this deck is not ready to show you, and I, I'll, we'll probably talk about it next week, maybe. But I just want you to not play right now because it's super bad. And playing, uh, waiting until the last ten seconds of the match, it's pretty stupid. It's not right. That's why um, I please don't play this uh, until this meta changes. Thank you. Frost up. Oh. Alice! Alice is back! Let's go, woman! <laughs> Who's here? Oh, Charlie. Charlita.
Oh shit. Oh fuck. Rude. How the fuck? Mm. It's that um, Woody, the guy who beat my ass when I was uh, when he was Baron. Let's go! Okay, now we can probably expect stuff like oh la 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 la. Uh huh. Now I know what's gonna happen. Suka. Hi. Mm hmm. Beautiful. I can beautiful. Ah, that, nope, not beautiful. Appreciate. One, two, yeah, yeah, let's go. I'm not even playing Jaina, bro.
Does this guy have a... Man, it's just... This is a good video. In the good, top corner, the, the weak, the hopeless victim. In the bottom corner, the mighty, the only sapper king, Big B, Bolavar. Let's get ready to rule you and bleed.